All right, I'm in the city, and yeah, this place looks pretty busy today. Ooh, the toy shop. Do I need some toys? No, come on, I, I'm too grown up. Oh, wait, there's Nerf guns back there. Oh, they look so cool. Maybe I'll come back there later. Um, I'm kind of hungry, actually. Maybe I'd like maybe a donut or something like that. Uh, let's take a look around. I know they think there could be a bakery up here, and oh, actually, you know, maybe there's like a coffee shop around. Hey, this little park looks pretty cool. Let's. Whoa, hold on a second. Is that? That's little Kelly. I know her from Little Lizard and Tiny Turtle and all the guys. Um, I, I've got to go say hello. Well, hey, hey, little Kelly. Oh, uh, hi there. Uh, hi. Um, I'm little Ropo. Uh, we we've never met before, but I I've heard so much about you. I'm uh, friends with Captain America and Iron Man, and I also know like Tiny Turtle and Little Lizard. And uh, yeah, I've heard so much about you. It's great to finally meet you. Oh my gosh, I was wondering your voice sounds really, really familiar. You kind of sound like Captain America. Are you guys like brothers or something? Um, yeah, there's kind of a long story behind that, but uh, yeah, we, maybe if we could hang out, I could fill you in. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Well, my sister, uh, little Carly, she's a princess in the Magical Kingdom as well. She's busy today, and all my friends are kind of off on adventures, so yeah, I'd like to make a new friend today. Cool, all right, let's hang out. Um, I was just thinking I would like, I was kind of like a little bit hungry, and maybe like a donut or something, but hey, check it out. There's like a coffee shop back there. You, you want to like get a coffee and hang out? Yeah, that would be so cool. You know, they've only opened this coffee shop. It used to be a playground over there. Oh, right, it, it's so cool. Um, although that's that's kind of sad for the kids. That Yeah, I'm that... sure they're opening a bigger one somewhere. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But uh, yeah, whoa, it seems super busy. Maybe they have like the best coffee in the world in here maybe that would be awesome if that's true oh look yeah it's packed all in here oh my gosh okay sweet um oh they don't have any donuts or anything like that but i think i'll have like a decaf coffee so um uh hi sir i'm little ropo and this is my new friend little kelly could we have two decaffeinated coffees please thanks a lot sir thanks so much uh so yeah little kelly you got yours yeah, I have mine right here. Sweet. Okay, let's take a seat over here. Um, so yeah, we like I've heard so much about you from Little Lizard and Tiny Turtle and all your adventures that you get up to in Minecraft school and stuff and then your magical kingdom. You have like the coolest life ever. Well, I hope everything that everyone's told you are good things. I mean, I don't know what Little Lizard would say. He's a bit of a joker, but I'm still really intrigued to know what's up with your voice and how come you and Captain America sound so alike. Uh, okay, so it's like a super long story, but anyway, I had an accident where I fell into this like nuclear radiation like tower thing. It was like green slimy stuff. It was so weird, but it turns out that I lost my voice and I couldn't speak anymore. So the guys took me into superhero school and Iron Man, he made up some like contraption and he was able to give me a new voice, but I didn't know what my old voice sounded like, so I just said that I wanted the same voice as my favorite superhero, Captain America. So he made me sound pretty much the exact same as Captain America. It's kind of weird when we're together, but I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, that's a really, really, I mean, well, kind of sad story. I'm sorry that you fell into radioactive slime thing, but I mean, now that you have the same voice as your superhero, that's really, really cool. I've had experience in the past with having no voice and losing my voice, and it's really, really not cool. It's really nice to have a voice so yours is really awesome ah oh, thanks man yeah but um yeah so it turns out that i've actually been a superhero forever but my mom and dad didn't tell me because they wanted to like protect me but i can actually fly and i can turn invisible oh really oh my gosh that's that's a really cool power to have i mean i've never met anyone with them powers i know it's pretty awesome um me and the mind vengers we've started to do some missions together so oh because i know you've helped out those guys sometimes maybe me and you could do like a mission sometime oh my gosh that would be so cool yeah i've hung out with the mind vengers a few times not as much as i'd like to because they're really awesome guys over there and they're really busy saving the world and stuff all the time but yeah no we could do uh some sort of secret mission i mean i do have a suit just like Iron Man's except it's pink and so does my sister little Carly and hers is blue so we can use them and have the same effects that Iron Man has so I can come in handy and since you can fly I'll be able to fly alongside you. Whoa that sounds awesome but okay so tell me more about you I've heard a lot about this magic kingdom I mean it sounds so cool I'd love to visit there sometime. 
Oh, yeah, well, it's kind of crazy. Uh, we just actually had like a coronation today for um, my goddaughter, baby Ellie. She's actually from another kingdom, but um, I'm her godmother, so they asked me to come along. Me and little Cardi, so we got to go and she became a princess. I mean, there's a lot of magical stuff going on. We've got some wizards who live there. I don't know if you've heard about our evil clones. Uh, I think I have Evil Little Kelly. Oh man, I do yeah. not like her. The Mind Avengers have had so many run-ins with her. Yeah, she's totally awful. She's constantly trying to ruin me and Little Carly's and all our friends' lives. I mean, the last thing she did was she stole our dogs. She's just really, really mean. That's the like meanest thing ever. Oh, stop! It's crazy. And she stole Little Carly's puppies. I mean, like her her dog Brian used to be a boy, then she found out it was a girl, and Brian had puppies, but Brian preferred to be called. It's kind of complicated. Little Carly's oh, kind of, man. she's it's kind of like crazy. So much to catch up on. It's crazy. But um, so you think maybe I could get to go see the Magical Kingdom sometime? Oh my gosh, totally. We actually just got some renovations done as well, so it looks so much better on the inside. So yeah, it's probably the perfect time for you to come over and check it out. Well, like you mean right right now? Today? Yeah. Why not? I mean, if you're free for today and I'm free for today, why don't we? Oh man, I am so excited. That is so cool. Oh yeah, and when we go, I can tell you the story of little Donnie. You know little Donnie, right? I do. Um, it's actually a little bit of a sad story, Ropo. Me and him just broke up yesterday. What? What? Yeah, oh, well, you guys didn't. Yeah, well, we're on a break just for a while because he's so busy with his adventures and his little sister, baby Leah and Donut and baby Max. And I'm really busy with little Carly and baby Ellie. We just decided to take some time apart and we're going to talk about it in a few weeks and see if we want to get back together. Oh, man, that is so sad. You guys better get back together. You're like the most perfect couple ever. Oh, <laughs> did you hear about baby Leah's unicorn? <gasps> yeah, I actually got to meet her. Her name is Skye. She's so awesome. Man, that is so cool. I was thinking I should definitely get baby Baby Angel, that's a superhero baby. I'll tell you about more her when on the way to the castle, but I'm gonna get her a unicorn too. Awesome, well I have a unicorn, I think. Yeah, we got a little Carly one too. I think it was a present for one of her birthdays or something like that. So yeah, we could all go on a unicorn like ride together and they all fly, so that'd be awesome. Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, lead the way, let's get to your castle. Just up this way, Ropo, the castle is all the way up here. Whoa, this place is huge. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's gigantic. And, oh, I like these fairy lights. They look pretty cool. Yeah, they're a little touch that me and little Cardi put around the castle. We like to make it a, a little more cute. But, yeah, the castle is, like... You know, now that you say it, I never even realized how big it is, but I haven't even seen all of it. There's rooms that I've never even explored, but I'll just show you kind of around the main places today. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, that love heart, that was definitely your touch. Pink and everything. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's pretty obvious pink is your favorite color. Oh, yeah, totally. Wait till you see my bedroom. It's so pink. Okay, so just through here, we've got so all this like new white stuff. That's all the new modern things that Dad's kind of putting in to brighten it up a little bit. And then we've got some water slides. So little Carly has one coming from her room. I've got one coming from my room. It was her birthday present to me. That is so cool. Hey, is that your mom and dad over there? Yeah, so that's King Tom and Queen Sophia. Or hey Sophie, guys, for nice short. to meet you. I'm little Ropo. Yeah, and then in here we've got the kitchen. So we have a permanent chef. His name is Marty. He's super awesome. Hey, Marty, what's going on, man? Oh, look at all the beautiful food he's got back there. Yeah, and then we've got, uh, like, an endless supply of ice cream. So it's really, really <laughs> cool. awesome because me and little Carly like to binge eat a lot and watch movies. I know it's not too good for you, but we enjoy it. Yeah, well, we get plenty of exercise in all your adventures. And then if you go behind the thrones, I'm going to introduce you to my goddaughter, baby Ellie. Whoa, I so, bet she's, like, super cute. Oh, this room is so cool. Yeah, so we just... Oh, and baby Charlie's here, too. So that's little hey, Carly's boy, or little brother. No way. That's yeah, well, so cool. he's kind of adopted, but it's all good. That's so cool. Yeah, um, turns out I'm actually adopted too. I don't really know who my like real biological parents are, but I've got other parents that brought me up from since I was like a tiny little baby. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, well, this is baby Charlie, and that is baby Ellie. So that's my cousin Millie's daughter, and that's baby Charlie, who little Carly, I don't know. I think she like found him. I don't really know the story about baby Charlie, but basically he just stays here a lot, and we look after him. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, so this is the library, so we do some homework here, we kind of do some research, things like that. And then if we go up, oh, over here, actually, I forgot about the dining room. Well, dining room and everything, this place is so cool. Yeah. I really have to get my look, own place. Look down, it's like lava. 
whoa, that's kind of scary. I'm like, oh, I don't want to stand in case it breaks. And this is Butler Dean. He does everything that we need him to. He cleans, he gets us food. He keeps this dining room in spick span condition. Nice. Hey, hey, Dean, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, he keeps this place pretty cool. I was just thinking I need to get myself a place big time because I'm living at the superhero of school. It's cool. I've got an awesome little bedroom and it's handy because I got to go to school most days. But yeah, I could definitely see myself living in a big like mansion like this one. Well, we actually have like a couple of spare bedrooms that we've done up for people. Like I've got a friend. He's actually a shark, but we, his name is Sharky. But he's a friendly yeah. shark. He doesn't eat people. I've heard of Sharky and Scuba Steve too, right? Yeah, and Sharky and Scuba Steve, well, when Sharky comes over, he has a bedroom that he can stay in. And the same with Baby Duck, he's another friend of ours. He's a baby, but he's not really a duck. He kind of just dresses up like one. Haha, <laughs> cool. If you follow me this way, it will be my bedroom. So I'll get to show you a few Ooh, friends of mine. I can see the pink coming. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Well, hold on a second. Have you got a cow in your bedroom? Yeah, this is Daisy. Oh, she's meant to be leashed up to the fence, but I guess she kind of wants to walk around today. So she, um, she, we found her. We got her as a present. We named her. She used to live out in the stables, but she got kind of sad. So she wanted to be up here with the rest of my animals. So uh -huh, over cool. here, we've got Buttons the dog. Uh, hey, Buttons, what's up? He's so cute. Check him out. He's so tiny. Yeah, and then this is Cassie. And Cassie was a stray that I found in the kingdom only this week. So um, I had a look around. No one had put up any missing posters. So I decided to keep her. I brought her to the vet, got her in injections. And now she's going to live in the magical kingdom with me and Whoa, little Carly. That's cool. Well, Cassie's pretty big. She's a big cat. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, I don't really know what her story is. I'm going to have to look into it, make sure that she, no one's looking for her or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is my bedroom. Look too exciting and then if you follow me across the bridge oh let me guess this is definitely a little collie's room right oh uh, yeah how do you know well we're like best friends so we like to be able to go to each other's rooms whenever so this is little carly's room hers is all blue cool okay so blue is definitely her favorite color i'm like there's i'm seeing a pattern here yeah and then she's got a really cool swimming pool just off her balcony here oh well, you're playing she's keyboard got a keyboard this is so cool Wow, you're actually probably better than the little Cardi than playing that. She wakes me up a lot playing that at night. Oh, man, it's so cool. Whoa, she got a diving board into the pool. That is awesome. Yeah, it's so, so cool. But uh, that's kind of like all the main areas. I mean, there's some other rooms upstairs, but they're not that exciting. They're kind of my mom and dad's room. We've got a little fashion room, a home decor room, baby duck's room, Sharky's room. Yeah, there's a lot of rooms upstairs. But these ones are the main ones that we use like every day. Whoa, thanks so much for showing me around. This has been awesome, and it's always great to meet new friends. So thanks for being so cool, little Kelly, and I cannot wait to go on more adventures with you. Yeah, me too. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode where I met a new friend. His name is Ropo, and he's over on the Mind Vendors channel. So make sure that you go over there and subscribe and comment. Say hello to Ropo and check them out. Ropo, did you have fun today? Man, Kelly, I had so much fun. It's so cool meeting new friends, and especially one as fun as you. I know in the future we are going to have so much fun doing awesome adventures. Yeah, totally. And guys, if you want to check us out on other places, we're also on Instagram, Twitter, and we also... Mind Ventures has got a Snapchat, right? Yeah, we did. It's so cool. We get to like see how all the videos are made and all sorts of things. It's cool. Yeah, so guys, check out the Mind Ventures on Snapchat. Their ad will be down below, along with mine and the rest of the links to the little club to check out all their adventures too. But until next time, you guys, see you again soon. Let's do this, Mind Ventures. <laughs>